Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Fajar Jaman, CEO of AICRA. Uh, my name is Dwi Widianto. I'm the country head from Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, or uh, you can call it CIMA. Hi, my name is Akala Anka. I'm a CIMA member, practicing CIMA member, and working in Indonesia for the past. Ikra is an industry knowledge provider. We become learning partner in education for uh, big data, technology, analytics, and business as well. Uh, we provide from enablement to mentoring to leading company in telco, banking, and government, and also provide the learning education to public uh, individuals. Well, from my point of view as a country head from SIMA, SIMA is known as the largest and the biggest population of chartered management accounting bodies. It's a professional qualification uh, started in 1919. So this year is our 100 years. Uh, we will be celebrating the, what they call it, as a... Centenary celebration. So yeah. So it's 100? It's 100 years. Yes. Yeah. In 19, we formed in 1919, and also it's also one of the recognized qualification in terms of global finance, but also applicable in any kind of business uh, related uh, professions. More about uh, adding value to an organization and helping the stakeholders in a profit or not not for profit organization to achieve value. So, most of SIMA members are working as CFOs many more in CEO roles as well as CWO roles so it's a global passport to a career of your choice. Okay, Data MBA as you know there is two terms Data and MBA so we provide the intensive training and mentoring program to train people on data and business analysis we believe that so you can get that value to the business. That's why we provide the three months intensive program for a public who want to scale up their career in comprehensive approach to get these two skills, data and business. And also to add up uh, from our SEMA point of view, by doing this program, the student will also can again upscaling their uh, business perspective and also we call it as a performance pillar which give them a better view about how to run the business, how they can understand yep. uh, anything uh, inside the, how the organization works in terms of finance, accounting and how the business uh, should How the finance part of it helps in merging with the business operation yep. basically. Yep. So the reason why we inviting Chima and partnering with Chima they are the best in the industry to provide you the solid business knowledge. So we believe from this to pro from this program, you can get you can become a complete professional. You can use the holistic approach to solve the business case and add value to your company. So you can join the program by apply to our website. You can check. The in training in the training list, you can find data MBA there. Uh, you can uh, browse in your in your browser bit.ly ly slash data MBA. Uh, you need to fill the form and you need to taking the entrance test. After that, you can you you, you can get opportunity to have uh, into the class in February class. So. Uh, actually, there is no minimum score or passing grade in the entrance test because the objective is to introduce you about the variety of equation in data and business. Uh, second, we want to prioritize the one who already have the basic in this batch. So, just in case if there is uh, more than 25 candidates in a batch, we can prioritize to, to, to the one who is more ready to absorb the, uh, the program in this page and you can see the need to, uh, to explore the, uh, the program. So the schedule is already fixed. It's from uh, February until May 2019. 
uh, there is two there is two pass first pass is training one in five months in the first uh, phase and the second phase is capstone project that you will be sent to some specific case that you will be solved and deliver at the end of the program yes the training is for basic we open for anyone who doesn't have the basic knowledge in data and business because we believe we have the proper and the realistic approach to build up the professional from basic to the one mastery the data and design there is no limitation uh, to age so you can apply uh, to anyone to apply to join this program so in this in this project pass you will be assigned to specific use case and there will mentor will guide and give you mentoring so to solve the project after one month you need to present and we will review the project result to, to uh, give you the score regarding the project. Okay, we have a local international trainer. Uh, we have international trainer here, Paka from GMA, and our local trainer will provide the data and the training from ICRA. We will use uh, English as a, a language in material and also most of the in the training and mentor discussion. So we are expecting a uh, candidate to have a basic knowledge in English. It doesn't have to be a uh, master, but at least you quite familiar with uh, English communication skills for business. Okay, uh, when we learn data and business in this program, we are expecting any professional it become a problem solver in their organization right so we weren't expecting more we expecting the complete problem solver who can drive also the solution to become a complete problem solver they need to have a solid business knowledge to understand the end-to-end -end process of business so they can propose or ideation the fit uh, the, the better uh, solution who will suit the with the business objective because Data analysis is not enough. If you don't have, if you don't understand the business, data analysis is not enough because it's only two technical approach. But you need to understand uh, first the business objective, what the value of the data analysis, and how you can drive the data analytics to add value to your company. In our perspective, in CMAS perspective, we consider management accounting to be the application of finance and accounting principles to create value in an organization and to protect the value and to give the maximum return to the stakeholders for both the profit for organization as well as the not for profit organization. Management accounting in general covers three areas planning, controlling, and decision making. So, performance management means you are monitoring how the organization is performing. In order to, in order to understand how that happens, how the organization is performing, you need to understand what is going on inside an organization. So, basic concepts from understanding the costing and all the way until making decisions based on the numbers and how you control the numbers for example how you do your costing how you arrive at your selling prices how much you charge your customer if you are in a service industry how much are you going to bill to your client how do you capture all the costs which are related to that and then how do you plan the business operation or even if you bill a client you you you, you are doing a project, you are doing an IT project. You build a client, you come up with a budget. So how do you prepare the budget? And, and that is part of performance management. And once you have prepared the budget, then you need to make sure your operation, your business is within the budget. Otherwise, you are losing money. So that is where you control. You have variance analysis. You do it monthly, quarterly. That is where you see whether you are going in the correct method or whether you are deviating off course. 
and in addition to that you also in in management accounting is not only about monitoring the performance on financial data you are also looking at non financial for example quality how good are your customers how many of your clients are repeat clients what is what is the percentage of errors you are encountering and how are you uh, how are you accounting for those things how are you quantifying those things that is also part of performance management and which is part of management accounting so yes as we mentioned earlier that diploma uh, that sima offering this program as a diploma performance management so the student will sit in for two different exam p1 and p2 and then they will uh, eligible for one seat for each exam only. So if the participant fail, they can retake the exam. For example, if the student sit for the P1 exam and once the result is out, they being answered, they are failed, they can resit for the other exam, but it's not included within the program. So they have to repay for the receipt exam. Once they complete the P1 and then they finally pass, they can continue with the P2, no need to pay again. As we mentioned, we're only providing one seat per exam for P1 and P2. As you may aware that I also mentioned uh, CIMA qualification is uh, recognized worldwide and we have plenty of members in Indonesia. Many of them having a big position and giving a big uh, influence to the company. For example, we have uh, members who are currently working at the KPMG, PepsiCo, and also with Coca-Cola, Hero Supermarket, and some uh, some of them also run their own business. For example, we have uh, members who are doing uh, Sinar Mas Group, and also, I mean, our our members not stick with one or maybe stick with one position only as a CEO. We are the worldwide and recognized qualification which can put uh, any single person to different uh, position, different uh, areas from let's say from customer service into the operational, into the senior level. So we give a very wide areas of opportunity for the membership.